Which robots should you pick? We've got 5 tips for the War Robots beginners. Do not get too attached to your first robot. The robots you get at the start of the game are just the tip of the iceberg. Don't rush with upgrading them beyond level 9. Soon enough, you'll get new, even more exciting machines to play around with. Experienced players recommend starting with these robots. They are easy to get, great for practicing and will serve you for a while. Griffin jumps far and hits hard. Leo and Natasha slow but extremely resilient. Both are super versatile. Equip them for close quarters combat or go full sniper. Stalker incredibly fast. Steal enemy beacons, escape in stealth mode. Your team will thank you. Galahad well protected brawler with a strong shield. Looks great, too. Experiment. There are flying robots, repair robots, robots on wheels. New equipment drops from the black market and event chests. In skirmishes, you can often test robots that you don't have yet. Most of them you can then build in the workshop. Try out different playstyles. If your robot runs fast but gets killed in open combat, try to focus on capturing beacons. If it's too slow, replace close quarters weapons with sniper ones. You don't need speed when you can shoot across the whole map. Build a diverse hangar. Each robot is great at something. For example, on the vast expanse of canyon snipers perform very well. But on the factory map, which is full of obstacles, a flying robot may come in handy. Join the community. Subscribe to our social platforms and explore the War Robots community. Experienced players will help you choose a robot, teach you combat tactics and share their expertise. Plus, it is just more fun to play with friends. So go, make some! Find the links to War Robots social platforms in this video's description. See you on the battlefield, Commander!